take a look into their eyes. Scanning the trail ahead for obstacles. And opportunities. When all the variables click into place, they all have it. That is the look of focus. Nothing and no one can distract them. Um, oh, no. want to fly? Yeah, I can fly. Where is it? <laughs> Out on the race course. I am so upset. <laughs> so close. It's important things. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so annoying. <laughs> so, there you have it. Not even the world's fastest racers are immune to losing focus. You know I run the streets, live a fast life, you know what it's gonna be. Pride up in my environment. Always keep your cheek. You know I run the streets, live a fast life. Watching people's hopes and aspirations get crushed doesn't normally make for great TV. You'd have to be some sort of sadist to take any pleasure in it, really. We'd love to promise you that there's a happy ending at the end of this episode. And there is, for some. Just not for him. The track's super fast and worked in really well after first practice. This course is gonna be really good for me and it should be a good weekend for racing. But we're getting ahead of ourselves, aren't we? This isn't actually an individual struggle at all. Behind the guys and gals dressed in all that flashy kit is the team that treads the fine line at the intersection of artistry and technology. Train the wild dog, think you on you wild off. Jumanji's the head mechanic, he kind of oversees everything and is really knowledgeable. Thank you. Good job, Kate, good job, come on, good girl. Kevin's very funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Over the last three years now, Kevin and I have gotten a really good bond. He's always had my bike running perfectly and helped me with my riding and my mental state and just been such an amazing person for me. For this race, we, we choose the flat spokes, makes more dynamics on the wheel. They work a little bit better on uh, off camber. They're flexing. Yeah. I noticed it like on that run way more. This season, I'm working primarily with JP. He really cares about his athletes, and he cares about not just having our equipment work, but having our equipment feel good to us. The relationship between me and Jack is the best I can hope for, and the mechanics are a big part of the job. It's the good. Okay, it's Monday. Do it uh, like, like last week, yeah? yeah? Don't get too excited. The most notable feature of Nova Meso are the crowds. <laughs> An incredible turnout. It's so exciting to see people out there with face paint, horns, and chainsaws all out to cheer on mountain bike racers. Equipment is a huge factor in cross-country races. We want the lightest setup possible to run as smoothly as possible and reduce friction so we can get all of the watts on race day. You might associate the term watts more with light bulbs than bike racing. But the hillier the terrain, the more important the power to weight ratio becomes. Courses may change, weather conditions vary. But watts? Never lie. Don't want to see that shit. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. Just write hard. A million watts. Come race day, kilometers per hour and heart rate are trailing indicators. Neither variable can reliably predict race wins, can they? However, applying the proper amount of power over the appropriate time correlates directly with podium appearances. We are go there in Nova Mesto! Langrad, the winner here last year, in the middle there with the number two on her bike. I honestly don't know which way this is going to turn out. We do know, though, that Langrad has got some horsepower. They're going to go up the gears any second now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This right here is what I absolutely love about XC Racing. It's a celebration of dealing with discomfort. The entire field competes to see who can drink the deepest from the pain reservoir. <laughs> The essence of racing is really when you see riders going head to head and racing together. Something I've been working on in the elite field is not panicking and making really aggressive passes or fighting for a single track when it won't make a difference because that's when you burn matches and, and waste energy. Kate Courtney, she's impressing me in her first elite year. She's right in there with the biggest names of the sport. Neff sent it deep into the rocks there. Again, pulls a few bike leads. There were many moments where I thought, OK, there she went. Now it's game over. Langbad already closing that gap, I think. It's looking like it's coming down again. Yolanda digging deep. She is going here. Oh, she's all out. Get themselves ready for a sprint finish. Towards the end of the races, I really think it's worth just giving everything. Any second now, one of these is going to launch an attack. Who's it going to be? So Annika Langrad goes. She gets the jump on Yolanda Neff. I can't see Neff coming back from this. Look at the power of Annika Langrad. Annika Langrad makes it three wins in Novia Mesto. I just had one sentence in my head, and that was, Annika, just keep pushing. If it means you had to fall out dead, I mean, you at least you gave it a go. I'm so overwhelmed by this race. It was fantastic. This year, first year elite is all about progress for me. Just trying to work my way up and went into one of the little gap jumps a little fast, crashed slightly. My chain came off the chain ring and came out ninth. So I moved up one spot and keep the throttle on. First run, focus on the line. Try the four new line we talk about, clear it good. And then second run, obviously, like, Trying to push a little bit more, going fast and almost a race speed. Feels like I got hit by a small bus. Front wheel's gone. I was in the air and like hit the ground and slid and then just like. This bike is pretty beat up. Then we have a few minutes to to repair it and trying to go to the to the start. One second of lost focus is all it takes to send the carefully laid plans of athlete and team into relative turmoil. And concentration lost, it can be very hard to refine. Finn Isles then, this man has been going fast all week. The Junior World Cup winner from last year, won the series with two races to go. Oh, no, no, no! You darling, yeah. I think that I came in just a little bit too hot. I wasn't completely focused. Finn Isles, what a shame for this man. My race was done right away, which is a bit frustrating. And after that, I actually had quite a few big mistakes and just was losing more time and more time and more time. Putain de merde. 
taken him a little while to find his feet in the elite ranks. I mean, as you'd expect, really. Actually, Loris told me, yeah, did you see the first corner? I was like, yeah, no, what, uh, what's happening? He was like, yeah, you should look. So I went to look, I was like, it's OK. I know what you're probably thinking. There is no way that after seeing Finn's run, that his older and wiser teammate is going to make the same mistake. Bruni at the top. And that's where you're being correct. Fastest in the technical, second fast. Dad! Hey! How did he hold on to that? I kind of lost focus for like not even a second, and then I'm gutted because I think I could have done well. Definitely, he's lost more time now. I've been riding like I was riding in junior and not being smart, mature, I lost it, you know? Focus and flow don't depend on a rider's age. Rather, the ideal conditions for generating flow include knowing what to do and how to do it. How many peered on them? Balancing the challenge with the set of skills. And maybe most importantly, Freedom from pesky distractions. Certainly the man with the momentum in 2018. What's it going to be? Is he going to end? Gwyn Stream, yes, he does. He takes the lead by half a second. Piron goes fastest in Leergang. The first time Aaron Gwyn hasn't won here. It's hard to see a rider crashing in the first corner, obviously. So now that's a little thing we have to figure it out. I know I have the speed. I just need to slow down in my brain and in my body. I can be able to put down a good top 10, top five. No one said this was going to be easy. In fact, we pretty much promised you it would be the opposite. Before making the jump to the elites, both our young athletes were quite accustomed to winning. That makes the current state of affairs a bitter pill. The solution, however, is relatively straightforward transform frustration into motivation and find your focus hey guys i'm finales professional mountain biker thanks for watching red bull bike click here to subscribe and watch more awesome videos perfect oh my god you can be